Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special treat. I'm very excited and especially this treat is more for me, well, hopefully for all of us, but Jeep and especially the Wrangler is one of my favorite vehicles. If I had to build my own garage, this would definitely be in it. I'm not sure if this particular model, which is the 2020 Sahara, fully loaded over $50,000 MSRP, but definitely a Jeep Wrangler. Now, a little bit about Jeeps, obviously, I mean, they've been made for a very, very long time, started, you know, sometime during the Second World War with the Willys, and uh, Jeep is actually, uh, the, the name comes from the uh, GP, what they used to call those vehicles, uh, general purpose uh, vehicles, so then Jeep came along. Now, it had many uh, different models, they started with making the Willys, then the CJs, then finally they settled on the Wrangler, and Wrangler's been made for many many years now now the four door which is this one was made starting in 2007 and 2007 models to 2018 and a half for 2019 basically they came up with this new version of a jeep wrangler and in my opinion huge improvements so as always what we're gonna do today i'm gonna take a look at the outside and uh, don't you like how it's sitting here and we're going to take a look at the suspension and how the wheels travel and all that stuff we're going to take it on this little off-road course and uh, see how that handles and i also want to take it on road because everybody knows that jeeps handle awesome off-road and this is basically synonymous with the best off-road vehicle but how does it handle on the road the previous versions weren't so hot so I hope that this is much improved. Uh, so outside, inside, take a look at the engine, see other engine options that are available. Then we're going to hop in, I'll show you on the interior of this brand new and redesigned Jeep Wrangler. And we're going to take it on this little course right here and then we're going to take it on the road. So if you're ready, let's go. When you look at the uh, Jeep Wrangler, you cannot be confused with anything else. I mean, whether it's this particular model or the previous generation models or the ones from the 70s or even earlier, they all have one thing in common. And this is that front seven bar grills right here. And while there was a period of time when Jeep was making them with the square lights, the round lights is what stands out as you can see on my t-shirt right here this is life behind bars and these are the bars that they're referring to but anyway so this is the redesigned jeep wrangler and it's easy to distinguish it from the previous generations just simply by looking at the fenders i mean if they have built-in lights like this this is the new generation now they also have a brand new bumpers and this is sahara model so this one will have the fenders or the fender flares painted the same color as the rest of the body well some of the base models would have them in black so whichever ones you prefer bumpers they're actually functional bumpers they're not metal they're plastic bumpers they have nice fog lights incorporated in this bumper and uh, this one is just a design element although they could have probably made it hole in it and and so there's more airflow to the wheels but again this looks very nice it's got those nice tow hooks in the front and of course with the jeep wrangler you don't pop the hood from the inside you basically open it from the outside and you can see that here now the hood has changed a little bit they made it taller um, not sure if you can see it from here um, and as on most of the jeeps they have those two plastic things and some people wonder what these are so this if you want to actually lower the windshield lay it down on top of here so that so it doesn't break it doesn't scratch this is to put the windshield down of course in order to do that you'd have to remove the windshield wipers but that can be done and this is one of the cool things about jeeps that you can have a typical off-road vehicle but you can also take out the top you can take off the doors and 
you can basically have a pretty darn cool convertible SUV all-purpose vehicle and this is great so okay so this is the front let's take a look at the side of this thing so on this side this is as square as they get you know the same design and I'm so glad that Jeep did not try to make it any rounder or anything like this that they they basically remained with the same shape of this car since its inception and also what's very cool that they left on the hinges the exposed hinges the exposed bolts right on the side here that basically shows you the ruggedness of this particular car uh, big mirrors right now they're equipped with some of the safety features like the blind spot um, monitoring blind spot assist which weren't available before on any previous generation jeep wranglers now this is stock and this is sahara which is the high-end jeep but it's also the more luxury version versus the off-road version so this particular one has the running boards right here and even with the running boards you can see that it's able to clear you know that uh, those rocks right here without any issues it's got over eight inches of ground clearance which is great now as far as the suspension travel take a look at this rear wheel see where it sits it sits all the way into this fender right here and it's still got about three inches of room to go to so if you really want to make it cool you can take some of the panels off you can take this panel off you can take the whole top off although this one is equipped and i'm going to show you because this is a new feature for jeep with the one touch basically uh, sliding fabric roof that this one has so we can open it up without the need to remove the panels but if you wanted to you can take those out as well so this is the side of this vehicle let's take a look at them back okay so looking at the back here also square as it gets they kept the rear tire the spare tire on the back which looks absolutely awesome there is a rear view camera right here so that's the new generation jeep wrangler it does have the rear view camera in here led lights now this one has the led lights as well and uh, the gate opens up you know you have to open the gate first and then the top opens up as well so that's the back of it now if you look the way that this car sits right now this is stock okay so this one doesn't have an erased suspension it does not have the beefy off-road tires it's got the regular tires matter of fact quite small in my opinion but definitely do the job so this is the the bridgestone tires that come standard on the uh, sahara model fuel gas tank right here again nicely exposed kind of a rugged looking on the outside in this beautiful color I have to find out what it's called but this kind of gray it's not metallic and it's not flat but it's this beautiful gray color I believe it's called the stingray gray color on here so here's the design of this car now I'm gonna take it inside and see what's on the interior all right so before I actually go inside of this car I want to show you of what's on the door panel and that's pretty simple straightforward big grab handle right here the map pocket it's really not a pocket but it's the uh, um, uh, net that holds things in place and this one which is optional on the jeeps right now standard in the sahara and the high-end model but it's equipped with the uh, power door locks and it's equipped with the power mirrors as well so this is only on jeeps you can find that only on jeeps this is removable doors so you can basically take the doors off if you'd like you'd have to actually undo that strap because that's what one of the things that holds doors in place and then i'll show you this there's actually hinges that you can remove the bottoms of it and the toolkit comes with the car so remove both of those hinges take the door completely off and have a nice naked look to this jeep wrangler take a look at the sound okay so it's not as plush as some of the cars that i reviewed but it's solid i didn't expect anything different from here but let's take a look at the interior because this has changed a lot okay so let's take at the interior first of all 
I used to have a couple of Jeeps a long, long time ago, and they were in the 90s. One of them, I believe, was 93 or 94. The other one was 97. And they looked nothing like this. They were plain Jane, basically, speedometer, odometer, and that was it. Believe it or not, they didn't even have air conditioning. They didn't have power windows, power door locks. Very, very simple radio. Right now, this welcomes Jeep to the 20th century. An excellent job. You have the off-roader, but you also have all the amenities and functionality of a vehicle. So, I mean, very nicely appointed steering wheel. You know, it's got a bunch of buttons on the side as well. Now, this is to control the screen in the middle, which is amazing that they even put it in the car like this. So, let's take a look and see what's in here. So, what's in the middle here? So, press OK to enter screen setup, okay? So, we can set it up as however we want it. Now, we can go back and what else is in here? Okay, so you can have uh, your speed you can have vehicle info. That's actually pretty cool. You have your oil pressure. You have your off-road drivetrain. So that actually has a picture of the car and see if your diffs are locked, um, if it's in four-wheel drive or if it's in two-wheel drive. It also shows it to you right here. Now I have it in the four-wheel drive because I am sitting kind of on this mini off-road trail. So I put it in the four-wheel drive, but you can also drive in the regular two-wheel drive. What else is in here? Oh, this is pitch and lean so you can see of what percentage are there and i think i'm going to use that and hopefully get a close-up of it when i'm actually taking this on this uh, off-road course so we can see of how it behaves on here so very nice clean screen for what this is all right and the biggest thing biggest change in here now this is that eight inch screen that Jeep has. This is the top of the line. They come standard with a five inch screen for the base, the Sport and Sport S models. And then you can upgrade it on Sport S to a seven inch screen. You can also have a seven inch screen in the Sahara, but this is the eight inch screen, 8.4, I believe. And let's turn off the volume, but let's see what we have in here. This is the U Connect, right? So, it's a touch screen okay so you can change that you know by basically touching the screen you have controls you have heated seats heated steering wheel so it does have that cold weather package so if you live in the cold climate this is awesome let's take a look backup camera wow this does have a really nice backup camera. It doesn't have 360, but it doesn't need it. But the reason it's so nice also because it sits up high. Remember I showed you that. That's right in the middle of that spare tire holder. Off-road pages. Let's see what that is. Please wait. We're waiting. Okay, so off-road pages. Never stock. Oh wow, it has that here. That is awesome. So drivetrain. So that was, this will tell you now we have it in the four wheel drive high. The steering angle is at 24%. So we have the steering that's okay. That's changing as I move the steering wheel. Okay. Accessory gauges, oil temperature, coolant temperature, battery voltage, trans temp, oil pressure. I am very much impressed with what they've done in here. This is so helpful. It doesn't do it for you, but it will help you navigate through some of that high, um, you know, difficult terrain. Okay, it tells you of where we at, what's the longitude and latitude, tells you what the altitude is, which gear you're in, and of course the lean and pitch. So this is very helpful if you're planning to take this off-road. Now, what else is here? So, now this is the manual buttons and they're tough looking too. You know, so you have that one can turn the radio off, but the volume knobs, they kind of a rugged looking. Everything is refined, but rugged if it can be in the same sentence. But even the key to this Jeep, look at this. The key to this Jeep, this is a push button start, so it's a push button. But if you want to open the door, 
you know it has the regular blade key in here and it's lock on lock it has the remote starter it's available with automatic transmission obviously only and it's got the panic button right here so this is for your climate control it does have a heated seats three stage heated seats it does have the front rear defogger heated steering wheel different modes for your air conditioning etc etc it even does have the engine automatic engine shut off for better fuel economy power windows this is your windows control right here notice they're not on the door because doors can be removed so if you don't have the doors how would you control the windows of course there would be no windows either so what's the point so here you go you have a regular charger right here this is for your media so it has the auxiliary input it does have the USB-C and the regular USB outlet right here and this is the command center for this truck so you does you do have a regular shift lever right here and take a look at this I love this it has a picture now this is not new this has been on Jeeps before but this has this picture of this old willies right on top of the shifter it'll basically tell you of which gear you're in and now you have settings on this transfer case right here so you can have it in two high four high neutral and four low so two wheel drive and these are all four wheel drive modes right here your parking brake it's not this electronic parking black brake it's a regular parking brake right here now as I mentioned before, this is the Sahara. So this is the luxury version of a Jeep. So it does have nicely appointed uh, interior. It does have this kind of leather wrapped with the stitching right on the here. Hope you can see it. And it's nice to the touch. It's not that cheap plastic or anything like this. And the same theme continues in here. Now, the um, these are well, these are kind of okay, I guess. They're nothing special. And the grab handles on all sides. As you can see, they're right on the columns right here. There's also a grab handle. And believe me, you will need it, especially if you park like this, where you are a little bit further from the ground than if you park the regular car. All right. While we're here, let's take a look. And here is your lights. So this is your regular lights. This is the dimming for the lights. And then this is the dimmer for your instrument cluster right here. Okay. Now, this one also comes with, um, well, I already said the remote start, but this one also has the home link. Uh, which is basically your garage door openers that you can program into. And this is, is what I was telling you about. And I'm going to try to see if we can get a good angle of it. But this is basically the one touch slide open canvas or fabric roof. So let me put the camera down and I'll see if I can show you of how this opens because this is pretty cool. Okay, so let's open this up. Now this... Look at this. It's like taking off the roof without taking off the roof, if you know what I mean. This is awesome. Now, see, this is not just a glass roof. All right, guys, so if you didn't believe me that this top opens up, here's my hands. Well, hell, you know, here is me. This is how this top opens up and it's awesome because it lets in so much air so this is a 2020 jeep wrangler all right guys so in case you were wondering what's inside 
of this Jeep. What powers it up? Let me tell you about the three different options that are available currently on the 2020 Jeep Wrangler. So the first option is a four-cylinder engine, 2.0 turbocharged engine, and that one has about 270 horsepower. I mean, it is the mild hybrid. It's a new engine it's kind of unproven and it sounds like a hair dryer to be honest with you you can say i'm not a big fan of it although people like it say it's powerful it's very torquey it's got nice pickup it's got low turbo lag but i guess i'm more of a six cylinder type of guy if it comes to the off-roader which is this one right here that's the 3.6 liter penstar engine they basically started using this in 2012 and continue to use it and you know it's got good reviews it might not be the strongest and the most powerful engine but it certainly does the job for it so the 3.6 liter penstar engine um 285 horsepower i mean it's got 260 foot pounds of torque it's a strong enough for what this needs unless you want to put a lot beefier tires and add ton of weight to it then you might have an issue but in case you were trying to look for the engine lever on the inside it's not there because this is a jeep so that's how you open it up and this engine by the way i mean this is not only for jeep wranglers that panther is used for chrysler pacifica dodge ram dodge challenger so plenty of chrysler products use this engine okay, so how much room is in this wrangler in the back of it well let's see grab handle running boards this is pretty cool i'd probably get rid of it for some of the off-roads but you do have plenty of room you know for passengers in the back it's got three seat belts three people can sit comfortable in here i mean it's great if you have a family you want to take a longer trip you can definitely do that so nice and roomy look at this it takes the whole roof basically all the way up until the very end out okay so if you don't want to you know take out the entire roof you can actually have the second best thing be basically it slides open you know take the doors out or put the windows down and you're there you have yourself a four-wheel drive convertible all right so let's take this for a quick ride on this little off-road trail and see how that handles rock garden right here and off-road this is awesome i mean whoa it does have some body roll here okay okay so pay attention to that pitch and lean right here because this is going to be changing dramatically once we go up the hill right here and wow can't see anything here but once we get to the top now here's the brake now we're go downhill we're gonna come back the same route and actually look at this 22 percent pitch this is pretty cool and this is why the approach and departure angles are so important on those vehicles because you can actually get up a very steep incline or decline here's the thing take a look at this and see how steep this is so now it's at one percent so it's basically flat virtually nothing on it and then we're gonna go here and this is Twenty two percent pitch right here and then going down eighteen twenty two it was twenty two right here again if it was a regular vehicle you would have, would have already lost the bumper but no not on the Jeep you don't do that and what's nice about the Jeep is even though with all this technology that you have here it's not doing it for you you can actually you, it's waiting for your response so it will guide you basically it will show you of what's the pitch and the lean and all that stuff but it will not do it for you you actually have to do it yourself which is 
nice and very very cool now keep in mind again we have the regular basically road tires these are not the off-road tires on the Jeep so imagine if it was raised if it had the proper off-road tires if you went for the Rubicon this would have the beefier tires different suspension a little bit beefier suspension as well as it will have the different like drive ratio so i mean this is more for the road and i want to take it on the road and see how it actually handles on road but before we do that there's this one last part of this trail that i want to hit now okay so let's see now you can see the pitch and the roll and now this roll is going to be crazy that's awesome that's awesome that you can do it it's 24 percent roll in here and we're still standing all right so now i'm climbing back in and you see why you need all of those grab handles wherever you can grab you know just because we're not definitely standing straight and i did that just so i can move the camera so we can have a view from the front of how this vehicle is leaning right now and we're still going so that is awesome that is what those vehicles are built for okay the off-road capabilities so now i'm gonna take it on the road once we get down from here and we'll see how that handles on the road okay so in order to get on the road we really don't need this to be in a two-wheel drive so we're gonna put it in two-wheel drive and see if that handles as well as it does on the off the beaten path <laughs> i gotta tell you the more i drive this car the more i look at it the more i want it now this is not a time for me to be buying a new or pre-owned jeep wrangler but definitely soon soon and yes honey you didn't hear me soon because soon might be you know in the next uh, year or so or sooner anyways so this is the 3.6 liter engine that i was telling you about um, and it does have yeah, plenty of power it does have quite a bit of a wind noise but um, you can expect that i mean it, you can see it's not the most aerodynamic vehicle that they produce so i mean it's gonna have quite a bit of uh wind noise now this one doesn't have those bumpy tires so it doesn't have a lot of road noise but if you go for like the rubicon or you know something with the big those knobby tires you're gonna have some road noise as well you know it is a lot more comfortable now than it was back in the 90s when i had mine let's see how the map looks like i mean since we're on the road i'm curious if it does have an off-road map that would be very cool if it had the map of like the off-road place so i'd have to do some research on it and if you know it maybe put it in the comments below and uh, see if um what this jeep has also you know i have a huge request you know for anybody that's watching this is if you are living in midwest somewhere you know preferably somewhere close to chicago and if you have one of those and if you are taking it off-road and if you wouldn't mind the passenger uh with the camera that would like to film something and maybe drive it for a little bit if you're not afraid of me taking your vehicle on some of the off-road trails of course with you i would be very much up for it i know a few good spots and i'm sure if you have a jeep you know that as well now i've driven the previous generation jeep so i want to compare how this generation handles versus the previous one so if you have one my email is in my contact info and in my channel so guys to sum it all up well first of all thank you for watching this video and 
I gotta tell you, I mean, this exceeded my expectations out of the Jeep. I knew it was gonna be fun. I knew it was definitely capable off-road. It's actually pretty cool on the road. Uh, I used to look at the listings for those vehicles for sale and they had 150, 200,000 miles and I go like, oh my gosh, thinking about the previous generation ones. How can people put 200,000 miles driving like this? Not anymore. This is actually a cool on-road vehicle. Now, I probably would like to have a little bit bigger tires if I was buying one for myself. Maybe a little bit raised suspension. You know, this, on and off the road, it can actually be a regular daily commuter. So, big thumbs up to Jeep for actually producing an off-road vehicle that can be used on the road look cool drive cool thank you for watching this video if you like this type of videos if you like this channel please 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 don't hesitate hit that little subscribe button hit the little bell button right next to it so you get notifications every time i post a new video there's a few in the works there's a few that are waiting to be posted now so i really enjoy doing this but i need your support and if you support this channel just click like click subscribe if you have ideas if you want certain vehicles to be featured on it don't hesitate put it in the comment section if i can do it and i get my hands on them i'd love to do that okay so i will see you in my next video coming soon cheers